pond lovers. I am so excited to share this opportunity with you. We have been going out to Denver, building Denver's best swim pond. This thing is insane. Huge machines, huge boulders. I want you guys to share this journey while we take amazing homeowners, an amazing team, and an amazing job site, and we build one of the world's most incredible water features. I'm John Adams with Modern Design Aquascaping, and our team builds custom ponds, fountains, and waterfalls out of natural stone and wood, and my goal is to educate and inspire the entire world about ponds and water features. I'm gonna rewind you right now back to April of 2021 and drop you off on the job site and walk you guys around and tell you what this thing's all about. Like, comment, subscribe, and smash that bell. Give us some support. Let's go back to 21. Look at this, the great hole. This is our project this week. Let me take you around and show you what's going on. Intake bay, we're actually gonna take this intake apart and put it back together. When the liner gets in, we're gonna get a little more creative freedom in here. We got feed lines in here, water lines. There's gonna be external pumps on here because it is a swimming pond. So we've got power lines. We've got schedule 80 piping because it gets so darn cold here. We've got three inch feed lines over on this end. We're gonna have a nice deep stream that comes out of this corner of the pond. There needs to be a walk across right here. We're gonna have lighting that goes out. So we're gonna do one phase that's upper level. That's like a little lighting that does around the sunken patio in the water on the surface and over by the intake on the surface. Then we're gonna do a second phase of lighting that does the center area underneath the trees so that the whole upper level is lit. Then we're gonna do a third level that lights the whole pond. This nice wide deep stream coming in here. Massive boulder comes across the top of the deep stream. That will allow you to integrate from one side to the other. The cherry on the cake is that this is actually gonna be a venue where people can come play music. So there's gonna be seating for 100 in a sunken patio area here. And then up there where they're at is going to be a raised elevated stage surrounded by a waterfall that goes into a wetland with some fountains or something. So I got to go up in the mountains when I was here doing the consultation a few months ago and I was like knee deep in the snow running around picking out boulders. And we have some amazing, they call them Cherokee boulders, a lot of angular stuff. A lot of the top stone that we got is moss rock. So I'm not gonna bore you with any more technical details. You guys stay tuned. Appreciate you hanging with us in Denver. Hey, my people, while you're checking out the build that's going on in the background here, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how Modern Design ended up in Denver, Colorado doing this project. These guys scored us on YouTube. They found our channel, they found our videos, they fell in love with the Adams Family art style of building, whatever you want to call it, and they just reached out. They sent us an email and they said, hey, we might be interested. We had a few conversations. Next thing you know, we're doing a consultation in Denver, Colorado. A few months later, we're assembling a traveling team. Guys, it's that simple. We will travel. I'll all over planet Earth, bringing the magic to the right people. So you guys enjoy the rest of the show. I just figured I'd share that little tidbit with you just in case you were wondering, John G out. You guys recording this? We're gonna catch ourselves a rabbit. <laughs> a wabbit. <laughs> Tell me, Lindsay. <laughs> Say it's true. <laughs> it's true. We're gonna get this little. It's the smallest thing, though. I don't see him yet. He's coming. I can hear him. Oh, just, uh, just that the other one. See him? She's got it. Oh, wait! Stop pushing. Oh my god! That's awesome. Oh, oh, hey, hey, hey! Oh, hey, hey, hey! Chill out. That's Hi, cool. Hi, baby. Hi. Ripping out. It's okay. That's cool. Dino, the boss man, he's just <laughs> talking about uh, what's bothering him on the job site. I only think I'm the boss man, I'm not. This is the boss man right here. <laughs> I work for this guy because oh, yeah. he's so okay. much smarter mm -hmm. than me. <laughs> mm -hmm. True story. Not. <laughs>
Hey guys, you're watching the excavation on the Colorado project happen. There's a couple things I want to talk about. There was supposed to be somebody else digging this hole for us. Don't think that having somebody else do a portion of our job is going to save us time or you money. We know how to dig the pond to expedite the construction of the pond. So don't have somebody else dig it. They don't understand how to dig it, how to shape the walls, how to shape the edges. The other thing is the rocks. When we dig shelves for those stones, it takes what's going on between here in order for me to get out and pick the right stones for the excavation. Just sculpting the soil is a simple work of art. Don't forget, it looks better, it looks better, it saves time, it saves money, and it's got way higher of an awesome factor when you just let us do us and you guys do you. That's all I gotta say about that. John G out. I gotta shoot a little video of this, ladies and gentlemen. This is the biggest rock I've ever had. I'm giving you a head start. <laughs> Whenever you feel like running. <laughs> she changed her mind to this tree. She plays to win every time. <laughs> I just thought I'd share with you guys a little bit of what got done because man, did the team just kick total booty out here today. Look at this, all of these elevation changes. The team was in here all day just doing tons of carving and hand cutting. Obviously we got a lot of machinery out on this job site. We got some beautiful moss rocks in, some massive boulders, a semi with five rocks on it. Absolutely incredible. Those are the kind of stones that are gonna get wedged into these inventions that we've cut in the side of the pond. Thanks for hanging out. Check in with us again tomorrow and we'll do something else. Probably a lot more digging. So thanks. See ya. Bye. Let me talk about what's happened since the last time I checked in with you. We had a team of people up there in the intake bay completely out. They wrapped that whole thing up like a big burrito and cinched it out of there with that giant excavator and away it went. Next, the rest of all of the shelving, we've been cleaning and dusting, getting all the little sharp rocks out of here. We spent a majority of the day putting in this entire bottom drain that goes in here underneath of our rec pond. Guys, if you wanna know more about that somewhere, up in the sky there will be a link to that video let's see what else did we do oh yeah groundwater was coming out along the bottom of here we've got a natural stream that runs along the back back here and lo and behold you've got this sandy soil water starts coming out we were about six inches deeper in here and water just started seeping up through the ground so we came back in with some of the bent night that we had hauled off and sean came in here and just spread all this stuff out rolled it in with the machine it is like concrete now problem solved Guys, I just wanted to have a quick chat with you about the under drainage system that we're putting in this pond. You're watching in the background, the team putting together all of this stuff that actually goes beneath the liner. And I find that to be super important. It's added insurance. You're doing a multi-million dollar project. Why would you cut corners? If groundwater ends up trying to collect underneath this massive water feature, you gotta have a way to get it out and you can't do it after the fact. So if you wanna know more about how we install this under drainage system, we will put a link up there somewhere in the sky for you guys to click on and you can watch step-by-step step how we do that. I'm gonna get back to doing what I was doing. John G out. I'm getting video of Dino getting video. Well, that's a wrap for this episode, guys. I can't tell you how excited I am to share this project with you. This is one of the coolest jobs I've ever had the privilege to be a part of, and I'm so glad you're sharing it with us. Do me a favor, 
like, comment down there below. Tell me what you want more or less of. Tell me you love me. Tell me you hate me. Tell me anything. I don't care. Just give me a little interaction. I appreciate you guys joining the Adams family. And uh, follow the boys on Facebook. Hang out with them. We're all going to get busy doing things that matter with people that matter. Why don't you guys just queue up the next video that it recommends for you? John G. out. Y'all better tighten up on this job. What'd you find there? Got a little 45 government model. <laughs>